Hey guys, Rhett here at my clients, Tess and Anthony's property. This is their second Section 8 unit in just a matter of months. They are unbelievable, they're killing it. Uh, guys, they bought this property for 45,000. They put 45,000 in rehab into it. It's a four bedroom, gonna rent for 1,300 a month. We just had it appraised for $110,000. So they're into it for 90, it just appraised for 110. That's instantly 20,000 in built-in equity. We're not done with it yet. There's still some work that needs to be done in, in getting this thing ready for, for tenants and occupancy. We're likely gonna have it up uh, probably in about a week or so. Still a lot of touch-up work that needs to be done um, and a little bit of fine-tuning to get this thing ready to go. Some drywall work, some paint work, uh, needs new appliances, that sort of thing. But come on in and we'll take you through, okay? So guys, when we bought this house, it was in utter disarray, uh, really, really bad. It was an old dance studio setup. I wanted to do a video of it prior, but it had no power, no water. It was super dark the last time I was here, so you couldn't see anything. Uh, sometimes I come to these houses, guys, and, and I can't do videos because there's no lighting. Um, I always want to, and, and unfortunately, I couldn't get a before video of this place, but it looks amazing. We've had new electrical work done, plumbing work done, HVAC work done, cosmetic work done, all new flooring, new bathrooms, everything. So really happy with, with how it turned out. Um, and obviously, uh, when you get a property and you're into it for 90,000 and you turn around and you build in another 20% equity on top of that, uh, really, really cool. So um, Anthony and Tess, this is their second property. Uh, they've never been here. They've never seen it. They've never seen this one. They've never seen their first one. Their first one uh, they bought for 70, Two five, they put twenty five into it, so they're into it for a little under a hundred. That one appraised for one hundred and sixty thousand, so they're absolutely one hundred sixty seven thousand. So they're absolutely killing it. Okay, if you guys want to be like them, buy properties with guaranteed income every single month, build in equity, force appreciate based on rehab that you're doing, and never see your property send me an email below, we'll get you guys started, okay? You guys can do it abroad, out of state, regardless of where you're at, okay? So guys, living room right here, okay? Uh, keep in mind, a lot of the fine-tuned stuff has not been completed yet. Uh, it's a four-bedroom house. Originally, it was a three with a den, and now it is a full-blown four, okay? So bedroom number one right here, all right? And right off the living room, really, really nice. I, I really like it. It's an older house. It's got big rooms. It's in one of my favorite parts of town. Um, and it is going to be a really, really great rental. Now, this is one of those houses where you come in and it's all carpeted. We have already had three people ask to rent this during the rehab, okay? It's all about attracting the right kind of tenant, the right kind of person that we think is gonna stay here for the most amount of time. For us, that's gonna be a younger family with multiple kids. They love the carpet, they love the playroom, they love rolling around on the floor and, and having fun. So we build these units to cater towards that kind of tenant. If we were going for older, uh, older people, we probably wouldn't do carpet. But we're not, we're going for younger families with multiple children, which is why we make the decisions that we do. You have to keep in mind, everything that we do is based on our experience and what works and what doesn't, okay? So guys, moving through this nice big open hallway right here, again, keep in mind, still a lot of paint touch up work that needs to be done, okay? We have bedroom number two. Now, bedroom number two, a little bit smaller, still a good size. Okay, and in a nice area where you have a little bit of privacy, you're in between the living room, you're in between the kitchen, um, and it's, uh, you, you still have the ability to, to have some peace and quiet, you're not attached to any other bedrooms, okay? Coming in here, guys, we have our, we have our uh, a little hallway here. We have bedroom number three, all right? Bedroom number three, a little bit smaller, but still a good size, and still a little bit quiet. What, one thing I like about this, Every bedroom, and this is a little bit different from a lot of properties that we do, every bedroom based on the layout of this house is in a different part of the house. Usually, and you guys know from my videos, 
every bedroom is in the one hallway, right? Or you have bedrooms that are attached to each other. This is cool because it has a bedroom over there, a bedroom over here, a bedroom over here. Everything's quiet. There's not a lot of shared walls, okay? Um, off of this bedroom, we have our bathroom, new vanity, new tub, new toilet, brand new floor, new subfloor was built in here as well. So everything in here, guys, brand new. Um, and, and it turned out really, really nice. This is gonna be a nice selling point, okay? And then as we leave the, uh, the uh, bathroom, we come into the new kitchen, okay? So all new flooring here, guys, all new subfloor underneath, really nice, really solid. Uh, the old subfloor had big holes in it. It was falling apart, which was terrible. We ordered a new hood vent here. That should be in any day. Um, new countertops throughout the whole place, all right? Uh, all these cabinets are gonna be painted, and of course, they'll be made to close for our Section 8 inspection, okay? Remember, none of this will pass, right? So, well, that, it will pass. All these will pass. Um, and we'll touch up paint, we'll touch up everything in here too, okay? So, brand new security door on the back of the house, steel door, and then down in here, guys, we have a laundry room, all new flooring in here, all new subfloor in here too, uh, all new electrical, so new GFI outlets, all up to code, everything in here. So really nice to have a laundry room that's away from everything. You guys know in a lot of the videos, the way the layouts are in the homes, some of the laundry hookups are in the kitchens. One thing that's really conducive to keeping people in homes longer is separating, putting a, your laundry hookups over there, your dryer hookups over here, your water heater and all your stuff separate. This house just had the plumbing in this area to do it, so why not keep it that way, right? So really happy guys with, with how this turned out. And um, again, GFI outlets here too, uh, to make sure that uh, all this is, is, is up to code. Brand new sink and, and brand new plumbing under the sink too. So uh, all really good. This will also be changed out. And guys, lastly, bedroom number four. This one's a little funny because if you want to cook in, in your bedroom, you can if you want to. I'm just kidding. Uh, we had to bring the, the countertops in and, and do some work in the kitchen, so contractors moved this in here. This is going to go right from here out to the dumpster that's in the, <laughs> that's in the driveway. Um, so that'll be removed. Nice big bedroom right here, right off the kitchen which again is a is, uh, really good size. It's a good size and it's separate from every other bedroom too, which is really nice when you're trying to sell this unit to a tenant. And what we find is we don't really have to sell anything to tenants, but still, once they're in the unit and once they're in, getting them in is the easy part. How do you keep them to stay? And that's what we've worked so hard on doing. And that's why we put the flooring we do in. That's why we put the, make sure the bedrooms are where they are. That's why we make sure about the small things. What kind of light fixtures we use, what color we paint the walls, what kind of toilets, what kind of tubs, what kind of vanities. We wanna keep the tenants in the units for as long as possible. And there is a science behind that, okay? You have to have a team that knows that science, that understands it, that's made the mistakes. I'll be the first one to tell you, that in doing this for as long as I have, Section 8, that's something no, nobody knows about. You guys are here because this is the best place to get information on Section 8. Why? Because I've made every mistake. And I'll sit here and I'll tell you that. Not a lot of people will say, yeah, I've screwed up. I promise you I've screwed up more than anybody else that does Section 8. I've made every mistake in the book. But that's why now my clients do this flawlessly. That's why now our process and our systems are so good that you can do this from all over the world. I have clients on other continents who are doing this and being successful in doing this. Never mind the ones here in the United States who have just never seen their properties and are still able to do this successfully. So guys, if you want to do this successfully and you want to be a part of this, send me an email in the link below and, and let's get you started. Okay? We'll see you next time.